When you paint, your mind is fully occupied. It's a meditation, but not a meditation. It goes beyond that. I truly believe that the act of creation as an artist is a holy experience, particularly portraiture. You're creating something in another's image, but in that image is a reflection of yourself. As I progress down this road as an artist, drawing does not become easier. Painting does not become easier. It becomes harder. You're making more calculations, you're making more decisions, you require much more information. It is a communion between you and your materials. And with watercolour, the very universe in which we live, water being the fundamental building blocks of life itself. Watercolour takes on a life of its own, and you must work with it. It does not work with you. It dictates the rules. It dictates what needs to be done and what can be done. With oils, you can simply layer on more paint. Not so with watercolour. Many of those decisions you make will be permanent and will forever define the painting. I find watercolour to be the farthest thing from relaxing but in many ways not stressful at all. It is like swimming. You are bound entirely by and with the water and you must move within it to your destination. I make self-portraits. I made self-portraits as practice. But as I progress further, everything becomes a self-portrait. I often say that when you look at an accomplished tag, you see in that everything about that person in their tag. Their drive, their creativity, the dedication and time they've put into their craft into developing themselves and expressing themselves in a single clean movement. This is a controversial opinion, but I find tags to be some of the most beautiful art a person can create, the most complete art a person can create because of that representation. Watercolour is no different. It will show any disharmony in you, and so everything I create now is somewhat of a self-portrait, even if it's someone else's face. Watercolour is more than simply painting. Because of its brutality, it is a calling. There are other mediums, easier mediums in some senses, but none so permanent as the way watercolour captures your mark making. I choose my subject matter, the human body, because it feels to me more like a communion with the beyond, the world and the individual. It's my expression of what it is to be human. It is my expression of what it is to be me. The more time I spend with the paint, the more I reveal about myself. But there's more than that. Watercolour shapes me. It sharpens my eye for seeing the world. It sharpens my ability to apply myself and create something. It teaches me to collaborate. It teaches me to accept my limitations. It teaches me to confront that fear and look at it eye to eye. And not overcome it, but work within it and the limitations it provides and how to exceed those limitations. Not in the sense of materials, but in the sense of opening myself to change and becoming. What I am becoming is me. The things I change, the things I see and shape, reveal me. They shake away the detritus of instinct driven by emotion to be a more complete human, completeness being a virtue in itself. Rather than feel ashamed of my pain, my insecurities and the disease that has warped my past, I embrace it. I take a step and falling backwards inside of me, I feel quite unafraid. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for listening. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. But yeah, thanks again.